Hi class, now we are going to do um, the muscles that move the wrist um, are the digits of the hand. So we are on top of page number four of your master list. So make sure you're following along. So we are going to be starting up the anterior um, um, the, the interior surface here. So we're going to look at the muscles here down in the forearm. Now these muscles are going to be forearm muscles and they're going to be crossing the wrist joints. So they're going to have action on the wrist. So basically the muscles we're going to be looking at are, are right in through here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to remove some of the other muscles. Let's get rid of um, the biceps and the brachialis. And here's the other biceps, and here's the... So I got rid of, of all the muscles up and through here so you can kind of see where their origin is, these muscles. They all originate at the medial epicondyle. Remember your big medial epicondyle of the humerus? That's where they are, are all originating. And basically, we have four muscles, one, two, three, four. And from starting from here, this one that's crossing over is the pronator teres. What do you need to know about this muscle? It, it's a pronator. Remember what pronation and supination is of the forearm? Well, this is going to give you pronation. Now, this next muscle... This is flexor carpi radialis. So flexor, that's its action. Carpi, carpal, remember carpal is the wrist, radialis. So this muscle, it's going down, its um, insertion is going to be on the radial side and it's crossing over the carpal, the wrist area. So this is going to be flexing the wrist, flexor carpi radialis. This one is palmaris longus. This one is actually going into the, this is the aponeurosis. Remember what aponeurosis was? It's a sheet-like tendon. Here's the aponeurosis of the abdomen. Here's the aponeurosis of the palm. This is going to be a weak flexor of the wrist. Also, this one's a pretty, this one, the flexor carpi radi, uh, radialis is a very strong flexor of the wrist, wrist. This is a weak flexor of the wrist. And then we have the one next to it, which is flexor carpi ulnaris. Same thing, its action is flexor, flexion, flexion of what? The wrist, what side is it on, is on the ulnar side. So if you just remember, here is your medial epicondyle, then you have the four muscles that are coming off of it. P, F, P, F. Pronator teres, P, F, flexor, carpi, radialis, radial side. Then we have our P again, palmaris longus. And then back to our F, flexor carpi ulnaris. Flexor, flexing what? Carpi wrist on the ulnar side. P, F, P, F. Pretty easy. So those are the flexors of the wrist. Now let's go and go to the extenders. So we're going to go on the back side now. So this is the medial epicondyle, right? So that was your flexor carpi ulnaris. So that was on the medial epicondyle. So you want to make sure that when you're looking on the back side of um, either the cadaver or arm model, you find out where the medial epicondyle is. Oops. That muscle is part of, is the flexor carpi ulnaris. So that is one of your four muscles that's coming off of the medial epicondyle. So let's, yep. 
So we are not interested in the medial epicondyle. We are going to be looking more at the lateral epicondyle, which isn't too, too big. But let's get rid of the triceps. Let's get rid of the triceps. Oh boy, get, <laughs> get rid of all these so we can see the humerus better. So we are going to be looking at the, the um, lateral ep epicondyle. So the muscles here are going to be, let's see if we can get, I think this is the brachioradialis. No, that is the extensor. And I will have you do this in class too. What I want you to do is always isolate out your brachioradialis. It's this, this big um, muscle that makes up basically the lateral forearm. That muscle is easy, easy to find because your next muscle next to it is going to be the first muscle that's going to be the extenders. So this is extensor carpi radialis. Extensor, it's telling you its action. Carpi, wrist, and it's on the ulnar side. Extensor carpi radialis longus. If there's a longus, there must be a brevis somewhere. So let's see. There is the extensor carpi radialis brevis. Brevis a little bit shorter than our longus. So brevis is right next to it. Extensor carpi radialis brevis. And then you're going to go to this muscle. Now look where its insertion is. It's going into the digits here. So this muscle is extending the digits of the hand. And it tells you that. Extensor digitorum. Extensor digitorum. Action is extens extension. What's it extens extending? The digits of the hand. So if you have your hands in, in a fist and then you open them up, that is what's opening them up. Extensor digitorum. Then this last guy, we're still on the lateral epicondyle here, is the extensor carpi ulnaris. Extensor carpi ulnaris. Extensor, that's its action, carpi, wrist, on the ulnar side. So here you just have extensor carpi radialis longus. Extensor carpi radialis brevis, extensor digitorum. This one's real easy to see. It's going into the digits. And then you, right next to it, you have extensor carpi ulnaris. So th these, once you find out they're all right next to each other, one, two, three, four, they're all coming from the lateral epicondyle. And always try to find your brachioradialis just so you know where you are so you don't get confused. So here are the extenders of the wrist and the digits. They're on the back part of your um, forearm. And the flexors are on the anterior part of your forearm. So you could say these extensor, these um, flexors of the wrist are, are what to the extender, extenders of the wrist. They're antagonists. And the extensor carpi radialis longus, extensor carpi radialis brevis, extensor digitorum, and extensor carpi ulnaris. Those are all synergists in wrist extension. And these, like flexor carpi radialis, palmaris longus, and flexor carpi ulnaris, those are all synergists in wrist flexion. So I think we went through all 
of those. So we went through all of those, so not too hard on these muscles at all. So the next one up is the muscles that move the thigh.